It's one of the biggest dangers of inter-office dating. If it goes bad, you still have to work with that person. Ohio State announcing its season opener against Akron September 3rd will be broadcast by ESPN, the same network which is suing Ohio State for access to public information stemming from the ongoing NCAA case. ESPN serves as a broadcast partner of the Big Ten. In one word, awkward. Meanwhile, this note on former Buckeye QB Terrell Pryor today. His agent Drew Rosenhaus says Pryor is planning a pro day workout for NFL scouts just as soon as the NFL lockout ends. He optimistically says that pro day could be scheduled for next Tuesday, provided the lockout ends. But Rosenhaus says that workout will not take place at Ohio State. Pryor still refuses to answer questions about his leaving Ohio State. How did I miss that <laughs> A cool meeting today for kids from Nationwide Children's Hospital who have battled pediatric cancer. Meeting up with some of the Nationwide Tour professionals in town for the tournament at OSU Scarlet this week. They played a little putt-putt and of course the hospital the key beneficiary of this event. As for the tournament, perhaps the favorite this week should be a familiar name to Columbus fans. Australian Matthew Goggin playing his way back up to the PGA Tour. Three years ago he tied for second in the Memorial Tournament, nearly won the British Open too. After a tough 2010, he's already won twice this year on the Nationwide Tour. I mean, I guess it depends on your personality too. I mean, my personality is to, uh, you know, blame myself, you know what I mean? Think it's the, uh, the Indian, not the arrow, so to speak. So, you know, I spent a lot of time working on my swing and really trying to search for what was going on. And, and when I couldn't, it, it just didn't make any sense. Tonight at 11, we'll catch up with Dublin native Kyle Reifers. It's like the tree in the forest analogy. If a Tim wins a game, but no one's there to see it, did it really happen? The Columbus Crew record says yes, but the ticket sales say no. According to Sports Business Daily, the crew's attendance this season ranks dead last in M a Major League Soccer, averaging less than 11,000 fans per game. Here's the big number. Attendance has dropped nearly 23% from just this past season. On the field, Columbus looked quite strong, third place in the MLS Eastern Conference right now. And when we get back, we'll have a final look at your forecast.